Well, someone who has been fighting for those centers to remain open is Senator Tom Libis, and he joins us now live by phone. Senator Libis, thank you so much for joining us once again. Good evening. Good to be here. Well, once again, you and others have been at the forefront of this issue for months, saying that such a closure would not only cost jobs, but it would also cost those critical services for people with mental disabilities locally. So tell us again about how you felt when you heard the, uh, the governor's new plan here. Well, it was a uh, Merry Christmas to the Southern Tier, as I said earlier. It was fabulous to not only hear that we're going to keep the hospital open, but uh, we would have a children's adolescent unit that would be a center for excellence. We have been extremely proud of this unit. We reopened it in 2006, and now they're telling me that uh, as a center of excellence, it could even expand. So uh, keeping the facility open, preserving some 350 to 400 jobs uh, at uh, this time of year is uh, it's just great news for the Southern Tier. Now, once again, the, the, the question sort of remains. The state's plan does not cover the Broome Developmental Center, which is still s slated to close. Again, we're talking about hundreds of jobs and critical services, especially for people in Broome County. That fight certainly can't be over for you or other leaders, I would imagine, as well. No, that fight is not over. As a matter of fact, the intensity of that fight will begin now. Uh, the Broome Developmental Center is a, a very important part of our community, uh, some five to 600 jobs. Again, uh, it's something that we cannot afford to lose, and uh, we're going we're gonna to begin the fight uh, right after the holidays, and uh, I'm not sure we can come up with some sort of a, a strategy. Uh, I'll be working with our local assembly leaders, and uh, one way or another, um, we're going to have to uh, see to it that the developmental center uh, at least has some presence left in the southern tier. Now, when we're talking about money saving, because that, of course, is what the governor had in mind the entire time about saving money to close these centers and consolidate services across the state, are we talking about a, a great deal of money when, when, when these centers would close or if they were to close? And, 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 and is the money sort of worth it in, in your mind? The, the rule of thumb is that for every person put into the community, some $75,000 or so would follow that person, that there's a savings of $75,000 annually. Um, you add that up across the state, and it could be significant, but uh, the problem is you still have to take care of that individual in a community setting. And what the state has done in a poor way in the past is dump that responsibility on county and local government. So uh, there's a lot of dispute. You know, I chaired the Mental Health Committee for 11 years. Uh, I fought the numbers uh, pretty hard over the years, and I'm not convinced that those numbers and savings uh, are what they're cracked up to be. As you mentioned, Senator Libis, the fight is not over, and there will certainly be a number of people probably in your corner for uh, that second part of, of that uh, relatively large fight still ahead of you. Senator Libis, thank you so much for joining us once again. Thank you, sir, and uh, I want to thank the community again for backing us up, and uh, this announcement today wouldn't have happened without their help. Thanks again, Senator.